I'm Jordan Carlos. If you love movies, this is the place for you. Welcome to AMC's. Can we talk about this? How come we never talk about how we feel when we dance? We remember the soundtrack, the style, the iconic moves by a young John Travolta. You think I'm losing my hair? But Saturday Night Fever is not all polyester and pizza. It also has a few things that we may have blocked out. Can we talk about this? Here to break down the good, the bad, and the groovy is a hilarious comedian, Mario Cantone. Mario, oh, thank you for joining yes. us. So let me ask you, when was the first time you ever watched Saturday Night Fever? And when it came out into the, in the movies in 1977, I was 17 years old and I went to the movies and the hype about it was, you know, it got pretty good reviews and, uh, you know, everyone was talking about John Travolta's incredible performance. The thing with Travolta is you get that beautiful face and his eyes and he's so vulnerable. He was a wonderful actor, but I think this was a problematic character. And I think they want to try to make him a hero and it's, he's, he's not. <gasps> I don't believe this. You're trying to hang this on me. There were a lot of stereotypes portrayed within the film about Italian Americans. Is that what made you cringe most? I think there's the misogyny, uh, the homophobia, the racism, the racial slurs, but that exists and in that area of Brooklyn at the time and today, it exists. Right. So that I'm not offended by. At least it, it was made at a time that you could show that and and show the truth about what that is. What did you make of all the, the, the Bee Gees, the dancing? I got best dancer in high school in 1978. So, really? Yes, I did. Yeah, oh yeah, I had all the boys dancing too. I taught all the boys to dance. Uh, Can I say something? And, Way to bury the yeah. lead here. Way to bury the no, lead, I did. I did not know oh, that. Yeah. And I wore that white suit to my senior prom. If this movie were made again today, like, how do you think how could we write the boat? You couldn't get away with doing what you did with those boys and, and having them speak the language, and they would have to be villains. And the women, you know, Donna Prescott, who plays Annette, who's beautiful in it, by the way. She's really yes. lovely in it. She's a good actress. Two guys rape her, and then they're all, you know, crying about the event that happens on the bridge, and, and they're all together and holding each other. It's like, you just raped her. I mean, it, 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 that's offensive. And then Travolta tries to force himself on Stephanie, who's played by Karen Lingorny, and she lets him in at the end, and she even says, First time I ever let a known rapist in my apartment. It couldn't get done. It's quite a cocktail of toxic masculinity, racism and homophobia, but with an amazing soundtrack, yeah. which, isn't yeah. that the 70s? Yeah, that is the 70s. The soundtrack's the best thing about it. So Mario, why is this movie so iconic, do you think? The look of it and the mute and the sound of it is what makes it iconic. It is a mixed bag of so many things and you can really talk about it and really dissect it. Sometimes my favorite movies are messy. It is worth seeing, no question. What do you know? I want another dance with Mario Cantone. I would do this as much as you want because this is really fun. We'll see you next time on Can We Talk About This? I'm Jordan Carlos. Enjoy the movie.